Set your opponent up for some big plays with these two play action plays coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, we're going to be building off of the single back wing pair out of the Cardinals playbook. This is a, But this formation is in multiple playbooks. Uh, you probably want to go ahead and go back into uh, a previous play that I've broken down to, which is a halfback stretch. It's a little bit glitchy. Uh, uh, of a, a, a run play and the reason why is that uh, the defenders actually have to go ahead and go to the strong side of the field and it provides you basically a naked side of the field that you can go ahead and, and flip the stretch to the opposite side well uh, you want to go ahead and make sure you leverage against your opponent um, a, a, a basically a scheme against him. So if he starts defending the run, now you can start beating him up with the pass. Now this is gonna, this is gonna be a two play scheme. I'm gonna also break down the jet six drive uh, because this is another harassment route and it allows you to go and attack your opponent in two different directions and makes it very difficult for him to stop. So you know you've got a running game already in place with the halfback stretch and the halfback dive, but now we're gonna go ahead and make some adjustments with our audibles and we're gonna, we're gonna adjust out the following audibles. So uh, basically, a halfback stretch is going to be the base play we're going to call out of the huddle. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the play action X burst cross, and we're going to put that as our left bumper or L1 uh, 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 audible. And then our right bumper or R1 audible, we're going to go and switch this up with the play action sprint halfback flat. And these are going to be the two plays we're going to break down. Uh, the other play I'll break down for you guys in, another, uh, in the next video is going to be the Jet 6 drive. But this is going to allow you to have a running scheme going off to the right, the left, up the middle, and then three passing plays that you can you can use in this scheme uh, is a very good first down um, uh, formation that you could jump into. We're going to basically have two different plays we're going to run um, against our, our against the computer. We're going to run the play action X burst cross or the play action uh, 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 sprint uh, halfback flat. Now, uh, one of the things I did show previously in another video is that I actually have my second running back, Logan, which is 93 speed, off on the wing. And that's just another tip that you want to go ahead and take a look at my channel if you're not familiar with it. So let's go ahead and show you uh, the quick adjustment with this. What's great about this is, is one quick adjustment, and then you can go ahead and quick hike your opponent. So they're really never going to get a chance to get set up with the play action X burst cross. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that that running back or that the, hat, the, the fullback wing or tight end number three. I'm going to put them in a drag route and the reason we do that now really what we're going to be doing is looking to the levels across the side and as you can see right here because uh, there's one defender and uh, basically two guys in the area you actually can go ahead and attack this up so let's just go ahead and run this one more time and show you how we can go ahead and beat our opponent with it so the first read we're going to take a look at is going to be this running back read right here and the reason why is that it's going to be the easy completion so one quick adjustment, we're going to drag up that wing receiver, which is Logan. And there, we actually go ahead and put Logan on that drag too, because it actually gives you another opportunity where you can get a huge play against your, against your opponent. So it's really a levels concept. Really our reads are going to be the running back, Logan, and then Grisham, who's going to be our crosser across the middle. I'm always going to look to the running back, and as you can see, this works like a pseudo screen. So you have an opportunity to go ahead and get some big, big play opportunity with the way this play is set up. Another area you're going to, you're going to attack is going to be the crosser by the tight end. Uh, a lot of times he's going to get separation. And he's going to give you a big play opportunity. So it is levels off to the left hand side. Uh, it, you can't use this play too much because what's going to happen is that your opponent can pick up the tendencies. It can flood that mark that area over there. Uh, but it's going to be very hard from the stop because it works kind of like a screen. So what happens if your opponent starts really flooding the left-hand side? He starts bringing other defenders. Well, you can go back to the other side. And what's cool about the play-action sprint halfback flat is that you have an opportunity to hit your opponent deep on the back-end side. And because we're using the fullback wing concept, uh, we have the opportunity to go ahead and put some, some major speed out there with, it, with a, a, a running back. So how I like to run this play is, is a couple more adjustments. I like to go and streak up Seals Jones, which is my tight end number two. I like to go ahead and take Fitzgerald and actually put him in a drag route. Now, you can leave him on his route uh, the way it is, but the problem is that he gets so much step, he actually gets in the air, he gets in the way of uh, the other route with Logan. So if you drag him down, he's going to open up. 
Another thing I like to do too is I like to go ahead and make a slide adjustment with the uh, with the pass protection, uh, either on the right side, pinching it, or off the left side. Preferably, I like to go to the left side, and the reason why is that sometimes I'll have a blister coming off the corner. Now, our first read is going to be the running back, Johnson, in the flat, and then I'm going to make progressions from, from, uh, from Fitzgerald to Logan. So first area of the field we want to go and attack is this little flat area. Animation was poor right there, but I guarantee you that's going to be an area that's going to open up. We're going to streak up Seals Jones and actually go ahead and drag up Fitzgerald. And a lot of times I like having that drag route because it's a quick jump, dump down to open up the big play. Now on a lot of cover three shells, if you get the protection, that corner route is actually going to get really good separation and give you an opportunity for a huge play. So that's what I do like about uh, the combination of these two uh, these two plays is that you've got an you're, you're attacking your opponent in the flat, um, also a crossing route over the middle, off the left hand side and off to the right hand side, and it gives you an opportunity to go ahead and attack your opponent uh, at, at different areas of the field. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe, the subscribe button. Also, smash that like button if you're, if you're new to this tip. So once again to my subscribers and my patrons, thank you for your support, and until next time.